Hello, Matthew Williams here, bringing you a video to talk about Monique Klingenberg. Because apparently, there was a spider. Monique has gone uh, back to the Netherlands. But then people find that she's actually... I'll put him out later. He's in this little thing now. Um, that she is staying in a farmhouse at Clench Common. And... Uh, hasn't actually left the UK, which is interesting because um, she was actually uh, telling people that she had to leave for family reasons, but she never left. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if she's here, then why not keep the centre open or at least contactable? Uh, Andrew Perker has said that the, uh, the contact number is down and that emails are bouncing. And... Um, it's my understanding that the Crop Circle Centre is shut down. Um, I also have it on good authority that uh, Mr. Mallet is not going to be working with Miss Klinkenberg uh, next year. He's decided to go it on his own. And he has decided that he is going to have another Crop Circle Centre. So she'll have her Crop Circle Centre, and Mallet will have his Crop Circle Centre. And, you know... The the odds are on now amongst uh, amongst those that actually give a fuck. Um, is Monique going to be like this? La, 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 you know, with um, Steve Alexander. What's the odds? Um, I'm not a betting man, but I would bet that that's probably going to happen. So uh, yeah, <laughs> watch watch this space. Um, anyway, there's this discussion about. Uh, the season's events and, and whether or not uh, uh, Monique had something to do with getting the farmer to cut these out when it was her sole intention was to not actually cut the uh, the formations to pay the farmers to not cut them. But it, it appeared, I don't know, tell me if I'm wrong, but it appeared from Monique's activities that she was only paying the farmers that were prepared to not cut them out if she made an immediate payment to them. So this immediate payment on a couple of occasions was £500, I was told, and maybe that wasn't enough for the farmers. Maybe that just simply wasn't a large enough figure to interest them in not cutting out the field because of the subsequent trampling damage that you have, the fire risk, you know, the... Uh, somebody dropping a lit cigarette or something in there and causing the whole field to go up. I mean, farmers have their reasons why they don't like people going in fields. Um, they're sprayed with chemicals. That's not good for you. I know some people have taken dogs in and the dogs have been very ill and had, you know, their, their fur fall off and stuff from going into fields which have been sprayed. Um, so, you know, maybe the farmers have got their reasons, but... I personally think that they don't like being told by foreign people um, what they're going to do with their, with their fields. I think that, it, you know, this, this is an issue. And Monique doesn't seem to grasp this. You know, she's like a bull in a fucking china shop, uh, to use an expression, um, because, you know, she gets to find out about the crop circle earlier than anybody else, because this is a question that everyone keeps asking. It's like, oh, Matt, but you seem to get the, the tip-offs really early, you know, and Charlie Mallet, Charlie, Charlie, I've said it enough times, you are fucking retarded. If you can't take this information in, right, I can, I can subtitle it, right, and we can have it tattooed to your fucking forehead, Charlie, right? I used to get tipped off about crop circles early so I could photograph them, yes? And Charlie is playing this out on some forums, you know, like oh, it's a big conspiracy. But I've said it many fucking times. I've said it publicly. I've said it on the Internet. And I've said it privately. Yes, I would know where circles were going to be made because I would be told to be ready to fly them. And seeing as I don't have an aircraft this year and seeing as Monique seems to have been tipped off, and I wasn't tipped off this year. I'm not flying them. And Monique is flying them with Steve. So Steve, you know, is getting tipped off in the mornings or the night before. Steve is getting the tip off, right? 
And then Charlie is saying, oh, Matt Williams is a wanker. He's controlling the whole subject. He's controlling everything. He's, a, he's in charge. He's controlling. He's making money out of the, with Crop Circle Connector. How does, how do I, owning my own little microlite and flying over the crop circles and taking photos, because that's what I do, yeah, being a circle maker, I have had an interest in doing that. And how does this somehow translate into, like, money and me controlling the whole subject? As we see, this year, when you guys are actually in control of the fucking subject, because this sucker doesn't have an aircraft, and this sucker isn't flying them early in the morning anymore, because I don't have an aircraft to actually do it, yeah? So... Then Charlie comes out and says that I'm in control of the whole fucking thing when he knows full well that Monique is getting tipped off to go and fly the circles. She's getting the tip-offs. And he comes out and says that? Jesus Christ. That's like, um, that's like, a, a, you know, somebody going, somebody going and raping somebody, you know, and then, and then saying, Oh, but it wasn't me, it was you. It was you, because when I raped them, it all blame transfers across onto you, you know? It's like, <sighs> Giza, you know, guilty as charged, not for rape, by the way. Um, guilty as charged, you know, yes, I have told you many times, so, so I don't see what the big issue is here. I have a microlite. I was a circle maker. I know the circle makers. I used to fly them early in the morning. Yeah. Now, what happens when Charlie's bunch, Charlie's angels, you know, Charlie's angel, Monique, <laughs> Charlie's angel uh, goes out and does the same job with Steve Alexander flying the helicopter? Well, Steve doesn't seem capable of getting out it half six in the morning to fly these things like I used to do. Steve is, isn't able to do that. So what happens? Circle gets cut out. How many circles got cut out without being photographed this year? Oh, just a few. So I put it to you that if what I'm saying is correct, which I'm 100% sure it is, that you guys have been tipped off this year, you haven't gone out and photographed them early like you should have. So you fucked it up. And then to turn around and blame your fuck-ups, the fact that it, the whole season's going and messing around and you're not getting the photos, to, to turn around and blame me? Christ, if I was if I was doing it, it wouldn't have happened like that. If I was flying, if I had the aircraft up and running, this wouldn't have happened. So there you go. <laughs> but there we are. This is your year, Charlie. This is your year. It's not my year. You know, I'm not controlling things. Yeah, this is your year, Charlie. Monique, this is your year. This is your wonderful year. You know, this is how you, this is how it should be done, isn't it? You see, this is how it really should be done. You know, with people like you in charge. It's, it's much better this way, isn't it? You get the circles cut, so you, you can't see them. But this is better for the crop circle phenomena, isn't it? Getting them cut. Yes. So they cut them out, and then Monique goes around and says, look, I'll get, pay you money to not cut them out, which makes them cut them out even quicker. Some farmers are so incensed. They go, no, and they cut them out straight away. And it's been a point has been made. Uh, Dave Dawson made the point on uh, Facebook, and I totally agree with this, that... Had Monique not gone to the farmers and discussed the, the issue of, will, are you going to cut them out? You know, that planting that fucking seed in their mind that might not have even been planted in their mind, but she's gone and planted it in their mind. Right? And then going, but I'll pay you, I'll pay you money if you don't cut it out. Yeah. And then they go, oh, well, why don't we just cut it out then? That seems to be something that will actually piss her and her followers off if we cut them out. That's going to work. pa -ching, ping, ping. Yeah, right? And suddenly, all the farmers have cut them out. So Monique, you know, in her strategy of I'm going to talk to the farmers and make this all good, has actually not, in fact, had really any effect at all. How many circles? 40 circles. How many got access? Three. 
yeah, total for the season. We're practically out of the season now. It's 31st of the 8th, you know. And uh, how many got access? Three. So your access pass that you wanted 60 quid for would have got you three circles you could have accessed. What's the fucking point? Honestly, what is the point? You're much better off illegally accessing the field by just going there and wandering in and going, well, I didn't know which is what everyone's always done up to this point. That is what everyone has always done up to the point, you see, Monique. Yeah, that's what they always used to do. Yeah, and people got off far better like that, yeah, than all this bollocks about, oh, pay the farmer and, and try and stop and cut them out. They cut them out and they wouldn't let you in. Far more people have been able to access circles in previous years when they just didn't know. They simply didn't know. Now you're making an official site where it's like, we'll tell you which ones you can go in and which ones you can't go in. So it's like, what are you going to say? Well, where would you get your information from? Because they didn't put up the photos in the barge, you know, this year to say where all the latest circles were. So where are they getting their information for where all these latest circles are from? They're getting them from the website that says, and you can't go in them. Unfucking believable So I... <sighs> I dare say that um, Monique is probably licking her wounds now and, uh, you know, sort of coming up with next year's battle strategy. Um, I hope the battle strategy involves staying in fucking Holland and stopping interfering. Um, or at the very least, taking some ideas and tips from Mr. Paul Jacobs, who does seem to be able to speak to the farmers and cut deals, which you aren't able to do my dear, yes? And he doesn't have to wave £500 in their face, which probably insults them on some level, yeah? He does it in a slightly different way and offers the money for charity and things like that. And he's actually there to actually monitor the field when he does that. So therefore, I wouldn't bother coming back if I were you, Monique. That's just personal observation. I think you're wasting your time, you know? I think you're actually wasting your time on an awful lot of money to do, you know, to do this thing that you do. Because it's it's clearly not working. So if you're going to come back and fly them and take photos, fair enough. But I mean, if you're going to come and do a crop circle information centre and, and an access scheme, I think, you know, you're just, you're flogging a dead horse. And I think the horse is now officially dead the horse really is dead. So let's see whether Manik does come back and let's see whether Charlie is actually has actually split because that's what I've heard. So let's see whether Matt's right and you do hear it here first. So thanks for watching.